are in the track for the upcoming first race, a condition pacing event, the purse $4,000. These are the paces for race number one. Number one is Sunburst Cruise, owned by Michelle Lafay, driven by Wally Watson. Number two, New World Order A, owned by Alicia Lafreniere, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number three, Prince Aston, owned by the Ethereum Racing Stable, driven by Jay Randall. Number four, Good Heavens, owned by Nancy Longerbody, the driver, Bruce Ranger. Ginger Tree Will, number five, Owned by Bill Krikorian, driven by Drew Monte. Number six is Master of Puppets. Owned by Barbara Katabia. Mike Stevenson driving. And number seven, winning design. Owned by Dan Tessillo Jr. Nick Graffham in the Sulky. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. We're approaching the starting gate. First race pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. First race pacers and behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. New World Order A it tries for the lead. Also on the Moose Sunburst Cruise, Prince Aston on the outside away third. Good heavens drops in fourth a length back to Ginger Tree Will. Gap of a length and a half to Master of Puppets. And trail on the field that's winning design. Panic turn the first time. Sunburst Cruise takes command. Sunburst Cruise on top here, shown the way by a full length. New World Order A right there in second. Prince Aston moving up towards the inside third as they pace by the opening quarter in 27 seconds flat. Passing the stands for the first time. Wally Watson has Sunburst Cruise on top here, shown the way by a length over at New World Order A. Prince Aston watches it from third. Good heavens, pacing the pylons fourth, a length back to Ginger Tree Will. Your trailers are at Master of Puppets, winning design at the back of the pack. They swing around the clubhouse turn. Sunburst Cruise in command. First up on the outside and driving. Here comes Prince Aston on the attack now, second. Halftime goes in 56 and 3. They strain out down the back stretch. Sunburst Cruise, three parts of a lane. Prince Aston right there on the outside. New World Order A towards the inside, chasing in third. Good heavens on the outside, locked in. It's Master of Puppets, followed by Ginger Tree Will. And true in the field, a sluggish winning design. They run the far turn, battle up front. Sunburst Cruise and Prince Aston on the rim. Those two heads apart. Three quarters here in one, 24 and four. Around the final turn, Prince Aston on the outside. Sunburst Cruise battles back towards the inside. Shaking loose on the outside. New World Order A racing in third. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home on the wide side. Prince Aston comes on to get the lead. Sunburst Cruise towards the inside. Far outside, here comes New World Order A. Deep stretch. It's going to be Prince Aston in front. Time for the mile, 154 and 4. Aston, nine-year-old big gilding by four-star shark, and a princess starlight by Albert Albert, owned by the Therian Racing Stable. Second race, a claiming pacing event. The purse, $12,000. These are the paces for race number two. Number one, Nagel, 
Owned by the Shigard Racing Stable, driven by Greg Merton. Number two, Gambler Panic. Owned by Eric Wallstrom and David DiMartino. The driver, Drew Monte. Number three, Dio Galileo. Owned by Milton and Zachary Vickerson. Driven by Ron Cushing. Number four, Nothing to Prove. Owned by Picarazzi, Petillo, and Daru. The driver, Sean Gray. Some Attitude, number five. Owned by the Jackie Green Stables. Jay Randall driving. And number six, Pine Bush Rocket. Owned by the Durazano Stable. Mike Stevenson in the Sulky. Post time. The starter has called for the horses. The pacer. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. Second race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Nagel and Gambler Panic both going out for the lead. Up on the outside, uh, three wide. There goes nothing to proof. Down inside, Dio Galileo comes away racing in fourth. Gap of a length and a half to some attitude. And true on the field, that's Pine Bush Rocket. Panic turned the first time. Nothing to prove, but rolling up on the outside. Here comes Nagel. And it's Nagel on the outside who takes command. Nothing to prove. Banks off in second. Quarter time goes in 28 seconds flat. Passing the stands for the first time. Greg Merton puts Saratoga Raceway Invader. Nagel on top here. Shown away by a length over. Nothing to prove. Gambler Panic right there in third. Length back in fourth. Dio Galileo. Followed by some attitude. And true on the field. That's Pine Bush Rocket. They swing around the clubhouse turn. It's Nagel in command. Nothing to prove right there. A snug second. Down inside racing third. Gambler panic. Halftime goes in 57 and 3. They straighten out down the back stretch. Nagel with the lead. Nothing to prove right there. And hot pursuit racing in second. Advancing on the outside. Here comes Dio Galileo. Locked in. Gambler panic racing in fourth up on the outside. Some attitude still showing the field. Nothing yet from Pine Bush Rocket. They run the far turn. Loose on the lead. Nagel opening up by two, two and a half. Three quarters here in one, 25 and one. They run the final turn. Nagel strides out to a three length lead. Nothing to prove. Racing in second. Dio Galileo trying to close the gap on the outside third. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home in the roll chasing. Nagel showing the way by four. Nothing to prove. Dio Galileo, deep stretch. It will be Nagel in front and going away. Time for the mile, 153 and one. The mile in 153 and one. on the track for the upcoming third race, a conditioned pacing event, the purse $12,000. Driven by Greg Merton, number two pacer racer, owned by London, Sepinock, Brewer, and Kelson, driven by Nick Raffham. Number three, Game of Change, owned by Kimberly Vafiatis, the driver, Drew Campbell. Number four, Finbar, owned by Nancy Longobardi, driven by Bruce Ranger. Rockin' the Show, number five, Owned by Tato Day and Laurie Dupuy, driven by Tato Day. Number six is R. Matty Blue Chip. Owned by Scott Dillon, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number seven, What a Fool Believes. Owned by Joan Harmon, Norman St. Clair, and Michael Foley. Matathurn Driving. And number eight, Star Island. Owned by John D'Antonio, Jr. Masters are making their way back to the starting gate. The 
Road Race Pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Third race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Pacer racer going out for the lead. Right alongside, there goes Game of Change up on the outside. R. Matty Blue Chip. Force and Fury comes away racing in fourth. On the rim, it's Star Island. Down inside, Finbar, gap of two lanes, rocking the show. Andrew on the field, it's one of Fool Believes. Paddock turn the first time, it's Game of Change on the front end. Game of Change shows the way by a full length as they pace by the opening quarter in 27-1. and one. They're in the stretch for the first time. Andrew Campbell has Game of Change. Long shot here at 21-1 to one on top by a length. Right there in second pace, a racer. Our Matty Blue Chip third up on the outside. Here comes Force and Fury, followed by What a Fool Believes. Finbar moving up on the outside as they swing around the clubhouse turn. Down inside, uh, that is Star Island. And uh, Trill in the field, it's rocking the show. Halftime goes in 57 seconds flat. They strain out down the back stretch. Game of Change shows the way by a length up on the outside. Racing in second, it's Force and Fury. Boxed in towards the inside. Pace Eraser is third. Armady Blue Chip towards the inside. Racing in fourth. One of Fool Believes. Camping his cover on the outside. Locked in towards the inside. A Star Island. Finbar. And on the field. It's rocking the show. Three quarters up. In one. 24 and two. Now around the final turn. Force and Fury on the outside. A game of change towards the inside. Those two heads apart. Shaking loose on the outside. Here comes Pace Eraser. They're at the top of the stretch. And turn for home. Down on the inside. It's Game of Change. And he's got the lead up on the outside. Force and Fury far outside. Pace Eraser from between horses. Force and Fury takes command. Force and Fury coming on. Time for the mile one. Force and Fury pacing the mile in 152 and 4. The starter has called for the horses. The Pacers are making their way back to the uh, starting gate. Up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Fourth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing a nice even start. And from the inside, duplicated in, kicks out for the lead. Right alongside Dietze. On the outside, Hudson Phil. Length back to Benno's fire end. Comes away racing and fourth. Followed up by Passport to Art. Make a statement A. And true on the field. That's JJ's delivery. Panic turn the first time. Rolling up on the outside. Here comes Hudson Phil. And Hudson Phil takes command. Hudson Phil draws clear. Leads it by a length. Opening quarter on the board. Goes in 26 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. Hudson Phil motoring up on the outside. Here comes duplicated in. And Bruce Ranger puts duplicated in on top. Hudson Phil back to second, followed by Dietze. Racing in third, length back towards the inside. Betters fire in, followed by Passport to Art. Make a statement A. And true on the field, J.J.'s delivery as they swing around the clubhouse turn. Duplicated in, looking to make it two in a row. He leads it by a length over Hudson Phil. They're halfway home in 55-3. and three. 
They straighten out down the back stretch. Duplicated in with the lead, heading toward that three quarter mile marker. Driving up on the outside, here comes Dietze with a rush. Dietze moving up on the outside, a challenge for the lead. Hudson Phil trapped in towards the inside, racing in third, followed by Fetters Fire in at the pylons in fourth. Three quarters here in 120, three and one. They're on the final turn. Duplicated in, uh, continues to lead. Move it up on the outside, three wide. Here comes Betters Fire in. Uh, Betters Fire in, getting up on the outside, three wide. Uh, towards the inside, Hudson Phil. They're at the top of the stretch, homeward bound. And it's duplicated in, showing the way. Far outside, Betters Fire in, followed by Make a Statement A, deep stretch. Duplicated in, in full command. Uh, time for the mile, 151 flat. Uh, official here is the order of finish number one duplicated in your race winner DC fifth top down one five two three four six seven on the bottom time for the mile 151 flat no changes in leasing event. The per city five hundred dollars. These are the uh, paces for race number seven, number one, Kamani Yen, owned by the Michael Goldberg Racing Stable, driven by Nick Raffham. Number two, Rowan Like Thunder, owned by Richard Cortese and Don Hawk, the driver, Drew Monte. Number three, Bet You, owned by Scott Dillon, driven by Kevin Switzer, Jr. Number four is Common Discourtesy, owned by Richard Knight, driven by Jay Randall. The bus say number five. Owned by Philip McKenzie and Ron Cushing, the driver Ron Cushing. Number six, Quick Shot. Owned by Kathleen Brewer, driven by Bruce Ranger. Scratch number seven, Han Solo. And number eight, American Rock. Owned by Steve Zakowski Jr. and David and Christine Tebow. Jim Hardy. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. Race seven pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves on to the back stretch. Seventh race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and uh, pacing from the inside. Rolling like thunder. Fires out for the lead. Far outside. There goes quick shot down inside. Kamani in. Comes away third. Uh, length back bet you. Settles in fourth. Gap of a length and a half to come in discourtesy. Followed by the bus A. And true on the field. That's American Rock. Panic turn the first time. Rolling up on the outside. It's rolling like thunder. Quick shot towards the inside is second. Opening quarter on the board goes in 26 and 4. They're in the stretch for the first time. And Drew Monte puts Rowan like thunder on top by a length. Quick shot is second. Come on in right there. Racing in third. Next in line, it's Bet You, followed up by Common Discourtesy. A length back to the bus, say, and true on the field. That's American Rock. As they swing around the clubhouse turn. Rowan like thunder. Looking to make it two in a row. A quick shot giving chase in the pocket. Length back in third. It's Kamani in. Halftime goes in 55 and 4. On to the back stretch they go, heading toward that three quarter mile marker. Rolling like thunder in command. Up on the outside. Here comes Kamani in. Now locked in, quick shot. Moving up on the outside. Bet you racing in fourth. They run the fourth turn. Rolling like thunder shows the way. 
Come on in, up on the outside towards the inside. Quick shot. Three quarters here in one, 23 and three. They're on the final bend, and it's rolling like thunder. And he's got the lead. A quick shot with a clear shot towards the inside. Racing in second. Come on in. We'll have to do better on the outside third. They're at the uh, top of the stretch and turned for home down on the inside. Uh, showing the way, rolling like thunder up the pylons. Quick shot followed by uh, Bet You. In deep stretch, it's going to be uh, rolling like thunder in front. Quick shot was second, Bet You third. Time for the mile 152 flat. Trained by Jimmy Nickerson. Driven to victory by Drew Monty. Rolling like thunder. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Eighth race pacers and behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Mick Woodrow kicks out for the lead. Good start for Mick Woodrow. Right to the front. Tara Hall comes away in second. Light back Kiwi Tintinen racing third. Makape drops in fourth. Followed up by Looking for Adventure. Mr. Wigglepants pops pool room and trail on the field. Beast mode. Panic turn the first time. Mick Woodrow on top here. Shown the way by a length and a half. Tara Hall is second as they pace by the opening quarter. In 27 and 2, they're in the stretch for the first time. And Bruce Ranger has Mick Woodrow at 5 to 1, showing the way. Tara Hall giving chase in the pocket, second. Saratoga Raceway Invader, Kiwi Tintinen, a closer third up on the outside. Here comes Makape underway from fourth. Looking for adventure, picks up cover. As they swing around the clubhouse turn, gap of four towards the inside. That's Mr. Wigglepants, Pops Puru, Mantra on the field, beast mode. Halftime goes in 55 and 3. Uh, they straighten out down the back stretch. Mick Woodrow by two. Here comes Makape on the attack on the outside. He's now second. Bottled up towards the inside. Terra Hall racing third. Up on the outside. Kiwi Tintin in racing in fourth. They round the fourth turn. Mick Woodrow, three parts of a length. Makape getting a little bit closer on the outside. Those two now heads apart. Three quarters here in one, 23 and three. They're on the final turn. Mick Woodrow under heavy pressure from Makafe right there on the outside. Kiwi Tintinen poised on the outside. Racing in third, locked in towards the inside, Tara Hall. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home on the grandstand side. Makafe puts ahead in front. Mick Woodrow battles back towards the inside, coming down to the wire. Makape, Mick Woodrow, Mick Woodrow, Makape, far outside, Kiwi Tintin in. Makape gets up. Time for the mile, 153 flat. Driving triple for Jay Randall. Makape pacing the mile in 153 flat. Makape, your race winner. Looking for Adventure was seventh. Mr. Wigglepants, eighth. Pops Pool Room was sixth. Windermere Frank was scratched. Beast Mode, fifth. Top down, a 4 2 3, 1 7. Eighth, the upcoming ninth race. A condition pacing event. The purse, $5,500. These are the Pacers for race number nine, number one, Waves. Owned and driven by Dan Tassello, Jr. 
Number two, Mark Diesel, owned by Gary Mosher, driven by Sean Gray. Number three, Briar's Desire, owned by John D'Antonio Jr., the driver, Bruce Ranger. Number four, Opus Blue Chip, owned by Michelle Nelson and Eric Everett, driven by Kevin Switzer Jr. Prince Galaxy, number five, owned by Joan Harmon, Norman St. Clair, and Michael Foley, the driver, Matt at third. Number six, Woody's Cash Crop, owned by Mike Raffham, Robert Holden, and Judith Ambrose, the driver, Nick Raffham. Number seven is J.J. Shark, owned by Lennon Paul Silva, driven by Drew Monte. Number eight, Meet Me at the Dance, owned by Joe Burke, Mike Stevenson, driving. And number nine, Colorful Speech, owned by Milton and Zachary Vickerson, Ron Cushing in the Sulky. Starting gate. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Ninth race pacers in behind the gate. They're off and pacing from the inside. Mark Diesel, Bryce Desire, and Opus Blue Chip all going out for the lead far outside. There goes Prince Galaxy, followed by Bryce Desire. Length back to Woody's Cash Crop. Length back to J.J. Shark. Meet me at the dance and trail on the field. It's Colorful Speech. Had it turn the first time. Opus Blue Chip draws clear. It's Opus Blue Chip on top by late. Mark Diesel is second. As they pace by the opening quarter in 27 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. And Kevin Switzer Jr. has Opus Blue Chip on the point. Mark Diesel tracking in second. Prince Galaxy third up on the outside. Friars Desire racing in fourth. Trapped in. Waves up on the outside. There goes Woody's Cash Crop. Followed by J.J. Shark. Meet me at the dance. And true on the field. It's colorful speech. Around the clubhouse turn they go. It's Opus Blue Chip on top by a length. Briar's Desire up on the outside. Uh, now second, Mark Diesel boxed in towards the inside third. Halftime goes in 57 seconds flat. They strain now down the back stretch. Opus Blue Chip, three parts of a length. Briar's Desire on the outside. Mark Diesel towards the inside takes up the chase in third. Uh, Woody's Cash Crop on the outside, second over, racing in fourth. Locked in towards the inside, Prince Galaxy fifth. Three quarters here in 124 and three. And around the final turn, Opus Blue Chip with a short lead. Briar's Desire right there on the outside. Those two now heads apart. Briar's Desire on the outside towards the inside, Opus Blue Chip. They're at the top of the stretch, homeward bound. Opus Blue Chip hanging tough. Briar's Desire right there on the outside, bearing down far outside. Here comes Woody's Cash Crop. Woody's Cash Crop, Briar's Desire, and Opus Blue Chip at the wire. They are all heads apart. Time for the mile, 153 and 4. Returning to the winner circle, number four, Opus Blue Chip. A seven-year-old Big Elder by American Ideal and a Peduzel by Arts Place. Owned by Michelle Nelson and Eric Everett. Trained by Joe Nelson. for the upcoming 10th race in seven minutes. The track for the upcoming 10th race, a conditioned pacing event, the first $10,500.
Kathleen Brewer and Jan Dunaway, driven by Greg Merton. Number two, Twin BJs, owned by Kevin G., Randy Bigmore, and Colin Jerry, driven by Bruce Ranger. Number three, Ticks and Stones, owned by David and Christine Tebow and Ed Nowak, Jr., the driver, Jim Hardy. Number four is Ideal Star Inn, owned by the Jesmeril Stable, driven by Sean Gray. Mansum number five, owned by Bruce Weinstein. And Alicia Lafreniere, driven by Drew Monte. Number six, Odds On Lauderdale, owned by Mike Eaton, driven by Nick Raffham. Number seven is Beach Chip Hanover, owned by Jeff Epstein and Stephen Gondelman, the driver, Jay Randall. Number eight, Real Peace. Owned by the Burke Racing Stable and Scott Dillon, Kevin Switzer Jr. driving. And number nine, Wyatt J. Owned by the Kellogg Racing Stables. And Jackie Green Stables, Ron Cushing and the Sulky. That's your Death Race Pacers lining up and moving in. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Tenth race pacers and behind the gate. They're off and facing nice, even start from the inside. Ticks and Stones gets the first call on the outside. Odds on Lauderdale. Down inside, Ideal Star in. Racing in third, up on the outside. There goes YHJ racing in fourth, followed by Beach Japanover. Down inside, Bagpipe Major. Gap of two lengths to uh, Twin BJ's Mansum. And trail on the field, it's real peace. As they pace by the opening quarter in 26 and 1. They're in the stretch for the first time. Uh, odds on Lauderdale shows the way. Driving up on the outside. Here comes Ideal Star in. And Ideal Star in comes on to get the lead. Odds on Lauderdale back to second. Parked down Wyatt J Racing third. Uh, Ticks and Stones towards the inside. Racing in fourth. A length back towards the inside. Backpipe Major up on the outside. Beach Japan over followed by... Mansum down inside at Twin BJ's and trail in the field. It's real peace. Halftime goes in 54 and 3. They strain out down the back stretch. And it's Ideal Star in with the lead. Odds on Lauderdale is second. Then comes Ticks and Stones at the cones in third. Up on the outside, a three wide. There it goes. Mansum. They run the far turn. Ideal Star in with the lead. Odds on Lauderdale. Right there in hot pursuit, racing in second, three quarters here in one, 22 and four. They're on the final turn. Ideal star in at four to five. Shows the way, moving up on the outside. Racing in second, here comes Mansum. Mansum gaining around the outside now, second. They're at the top of the stretch and turn for home. It's Ideal Star in, set down for the stretch drive. Mansum on the outside, here comes Mansum. Ideal Star in, Ideal Star in. Mansum on the outside at the wire. Ideal Star in holds on. Time for the mile, 151 and 4. Ideal Star Inn, a seven year old day gilding by American Ideal, out of Star of Heaven by In the Pocket, owned by the Jesmerell Stable, trained by Sheena McElhiney, and driven to victory by Sean Gray. Ideal Star Inn, pacing the mile in one. Track for today's 11th race finale, a claiming pacing event, the per six thousand dollars. These are the pacers for race number 11. Number one, image of a rocker, 
Owned by Anthony Loinko, driven by Kevin Switzer Jr. Number two, Touch of Dragon. Owned by Gregory Gardner, driven by Sean Gray. Number three, assigned to Inverell A. Owned by Randy Bigmore and Teresa Colston. The driver, Nick Raffham. Number four, Cartoonist. Owned by David Zuckerman, driven by Jim Hardy. Hurricane Ali, number five. Owned by Kathleen Brewer, driven by Greg Merton. Number six, P. Zaka. Owned by Michelle LeFay. Wally Watson driving. And number seven, Drain Daddy. Owned by Alicia Lafreniere. Pat Curtin in the Sulky. Post time for the upcoming 11th race. The Pacers are making their way back to the starting gate. This field is in motion. And the gate moves onto the back stretch. Nightcap Pacers in behind the gate. 11th and final here at Plain Ridge Park. They're off and pacing from the inside. Image of a rocker going out for the lead. Uh, from outside, there goes Drain Daddy showing good early speed. Touch of Dragon comes away a third. Uh, cartoonist on the outside, followed by sign to Inverell A. Gap of a length and a half to Hurricane Ali. And true on the field, that's P. Zanka. Had a turn the first time. Image of a rocker on the front end. Drain Daddy racing in second. Motoring up on the outside. Here comes Touch of Dragon. Quarter time goes in 27-3. They're in the stretch for the first time. Charging and charging hard. Here comes Touch of Dragon. And Sean Gray puts Touch of Dragon on top by length. Image of a rocker backs off in second. Drain Danny third. Cartoonist fourth. Length back to sign to Inverell A. Followed by Hurricane Ali. And on the field, that's P. Zanka. As they swing around the clubhouse turn. Touch of Dragon looking for win number three in a row. He leads it by a length over Image of a Rocker. Advancing on the outside. Here comes Cartoonist from third. Locked in. Drain Daddy fourth. Halftime goes in 57 and four. They strain out down the back stretch. And it's Touch of Dragon. Four to five favorite on top by a length. Heading toward that three quarter mile marker. Cartoonist on the rim. Boxed in towards the inside. Image of a Rocker. Up on the outside. Hurricane Ali. Drain Daddy pinned in at the pylons, racing in fifth. Three quarters here in one, 26 and four. Around the final turn, it's Touch of Dragon, and he's got the lead. Cartoonist on the outside. Towards the inside, image of a rocker, racing in third from the back of the pack, three wide. Pizanka, they're at the uh, top of the stretch and turn for home. Touch of Dragon, set down for the stretch drive. Shake loose on the outside. Here comes image of a rocker, bearing down. Image of a rocker, touch of Dragon. Touch of Dragon holds on. Time for the mile, 155 and three. Gregory Gardner, trained by James McCassey, driven to victory by Sean Gray. Sean Gray taking both ends of the late double. Touch of Dragon pacing the mile in one fifty-five and three. Eleventh race is official. Here is the order of finish. Number one, Image of a Rocker was second. Touch of Dragon, your race winner. Signed to Inverell A was seventh. Cartoon is fourth. Hurricane Ali fifth.